How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the black text vinyl made by Beautifloor and just point out a few positives that does make this the absolute easiest vinyl for the DIY person, okay? So right off the bat, I've got a little scrap here and I want to show it to you. This is actually a piece of vinyl. You see the black, the back of it right there is black. Look right here. What the deal is with this, it has a, has a black felt. If you see that, it looks kind of fuzzy. You see the felt strings and stuff right up here at the top. So this, uh, you can either full spread this or loose lay, and it's such a tough vinyl. It's a really thick, look how thick that is. This is a, a really heavy grade vinyl, okay? You can actually take this stuff, wad it up, fold it, and bend it, and you might say, well, why would you even want to do that anyway? Well, if you're working around cabinets, tucking it in under around, uh, underneath of toe kicks and stuff like that, and you're not very experienced with it, or sometimes that happens anyway, where things just tend to get creased. So, as you can see, absolutely nothing showing whatsoever about that. That's what's good about this product. It is a wonderful product. As a matter of fact, this is the only vinyl flooring on the market that the manufacturer will warranty if it does not have an underlayment installed under it, okay? So that right there should tell you something. The, what makes this super awesome for DIY people, uh, say landlords that have tenants, they want to switch stuff out and put it in, they don't want to hire somebody, they want to get out as cheap as they can, so they want to do the install themselves. A person would be completely comfortable doing this particular vinyl right here simply because you do not have to go to the extreme on floor prep, okay? You can get by with a very, very minimal floor prep on this vinyl, okay? Okay, so what I'm going to be using to cut that with is a, it's a sharp knife. It's a, it's a, it's a type of utility blade or a type of utility knife that holds a double notched, uh, pretty much any double notched blade. Let me show you right here on the inside. That way uh, you'll know. And this right here makes it extremely DIY friendly. And I'm going to explain that in just a second. Uh, the knife and, and the uh, hook blades that I've got in it right there. See the hook blade right there? It's actually a hook on both sides so you get twice the use out of it okay and you notice it's got double double notches right there any blades with the double notches utility blades or any of them will fit in this particular type of knife right here okay uh, this is actually uh, just a large hook blade they have small they have large and they have extra large I will use the extra large for carpet tile glue down carpets and such like that uh, just the large right here. You can see about the size of hook on that. I use that specifically for vinyl. I don't really use it. For, I don't. I don't know. Uh, it seems to work really well for that. Okay. So let me point you down right here, and we'll go on with it. Okay. Okay. So typically, if you use a traditional utility knife, this is a little bit of a different utility knife, but it has the utility blade in it anyway, right there. So this is just to show you. Uh, whenever you're trimming your vinyl down, you always want to make sure that it's in the crevice right there really good, okay? You don't want to just hold it right there and it commits to cutting right there. What happens if you do, say you start cutting right there, what looks like it'll be really nice in the corner, and then if you see that when you get down there, actually mashed in, I'm about a half inch away from the baseboard right there, okay? So you definitely always want to make sure that your vinyl is creased, creased in the corner right there whenever you cut it, okay? I will generally take my one hand right here and crease it in front of me. Notice my fingers right here. I'll take and push it down with my knuckles as I'm doing that right there, okay? Now this is the disadvantage to these typical utility knives, okay? So you always have to make sure that you push down on the vinyl. When you pull it, you're actually pushing down, down, and back at the same time, okay? Uh, it's not really a big deal. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, you can definitely definitely tell a difference on that. So right there looky right there I'll just I'll just cut this whole run right here. So this is a little it's actually not a little bit harder It's definitely a lot harder than what I'm fixing to show you. Okay, and this is what makes the hook blade So beautiful for this. Okay, so looky here as I was coming down through there because I'm actually pushing down and pulling back on the knife it started to get away from the vinyl floor uh, back here just a little bit, okay? It started running away from the base just a little bit, okay? Let me show you that right up close there. Because I was pushing down again and this way, you can see that. I mean, that would cover with a quarter round. That's maybe three sixteenths of an inch along there. But, it, you know, why not get it a little closer if you can? I would much rather have it 
about like that, which is a quarter inch. That's typically what you want to strive for right there, okay? Now, with that being said, a lot of people, uh, DIY people and stuff like that, in fact, if they are going to do a little renovation like this on the rental property or something else like that, they might go to uh, Lowe's or Home Depot and pick up a traditional carpet knife. Not saying that you'll get one exactly like this. This is more professional, but it's the basic shape of a carpet knife and it has the original carpet blade right here, okay? So it's going to be the same situation, okay? You obviously have to push down and pull back at the same time with this one as well, okay? But this is sharper than a utility blade, okay? So you can actually get your vinyl cut nice and clean and even closer to the baseboard uh, with something sharper because you do not have to pull that uh, push down as you're pulling back so much, okay? Because it slices, it slices through the vinyl a lot easier than a utility blade would, okay? So uh, if this is what you got to work with, by all means, this is going to outweigh the utility way, uh, blade big time when it comes to cutting vinyl. A lot of people will use this because it's not as easy to mess up, okay? Because it is harder to cut where this cuts through so easy because it's a, a carpet blade, it's easier to come out in the floor a little bit. If you're cutting, you might get a little crooked or something like that. But it does slice through it easier and it takes less physical effort than the utility blade, okay? So let's take a look at how this looks now up against the baseboard with the carpet knife. Okay, so this is right, this right here is what we got with the carpet knife. This is exactly what you want right here. This is absolutely perfect. That's about a quarter inch all the way around uh, for loose laying this product. Loose laying means you're not going to put any glue under it whatsoever. And the floor is actually just going to lay here on the subfloor itself. The vinyl is going to lay here on the floor itself with nothing holding it down but the weight of the vinyl, okay? Now you might say, uh, with the vinyl just laying there on the floor without any glue, any tape, or anything holding it in place, What's gonna hold it down? Uh, actually, gravity is what's gonna hold this vinyl on the floor. It's such a heavy, dense vinyl. It's not gonna go anywhere, okay? It has this felt, once again, it has that felt on the back of it right there to where that felt will actually grab a hold of that other subfloor, the existing subfloor, whatever you've got down. This stuff is actually really hard to slide and maneuver around uh, for lining up and getting straight and stuff like that because that felt will grab a hold of the floor, okay? so. That's a major plus about this. It definitely keeps it from shifting around on you. Once you get it laid where you want it and want to start cutting, it's not going to move, okay? Another huge benefit of this vinyl for the DIY person, it's not going to move around, slide out of shape, uh, slide out of line for you and stuff like that once you get it lined up to cut, okay? Um, and uh, the reason why you would want to cut it a quarter inch away, you don't, anytime you are loose laying a product, for instance, vinyl plank or laminate or anything, anything that is not been securely fastened to the floor when you're installing, you always need a little bit of expansion space around the edges of the walls. It cannot be touching anywhere. You definitely need to have about a quarter inch free space all the way around the exterior walls just like you would on a vinyl plank or a hardwood laminate anything like that okay the same principle applies to anything that is free floating okay now this time right here and the benefit of using this hook blade in my knife right here one thing is this is a super comfortable knife you see that it just fits in your hand so perfect that skinny skinny spot right here if you're a uh, first timer, a DIY, want to do your own project, you're going to grab this knife and you're going to be like, wow, that, that feels good. Even for a DIY person, okay, there's not anybody that's going to grab a hold of this knife and be like, boy, that's just uncomfortable. This is going to be your most comfortable knife to work with, period, okay? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. It's going to outrank any traditional carpet knife, any other utility knife, or anything. These are definitely the most comfortable. They just feel really good in your hand, okay? So that's why this knife is good for the DIY person. Now, let me get into this hook blade right here, okay? You see the little hook on it right there? It actually has a point right here, okay? That point right there is actually sharpened as well. So let's get into cutting the vinyl, okay? Right here, let me show you exactly why this blade is great for a DIY person, okay? So right here, uh, a while ago I was talking about you had to push down and pull back as you're doing your vinyl right here, okay? 
Not the case with this whatsoever. That hook blade right there, you actually just hook your vinyl, okay? Now, the, look at that. The only thing you have to do is just pull straight back. There's no pushing down, no mashing it into the crevice as you're pushing down and cutting or anything like that. You simply uh, hook it right there and just pull straight back. It is super, super easy to do that, okay? Let me just make this cut down through here real quick and I'll show you again what it looks like, okay? Okay, so once again, what we got right here is about a quarter inch all the way down right through there. So that's exactly what you want. Looks like I might have got a two, oh well, no. You can see definitely compared to my finger, that's it. That's approximately a quarter inch. Looks really good and with very, very minimal effort on that hook knife, okay? That thing right there is super efficient whenever you're wanting to grab it. Look at here. You can literally just take, grab it, and start pulling, okay? All you have to do is just pull straight back on that, okay? Now I'm gonna show you another awesome benefit about this right here real quick. Okay, so you might say, well, what happens when there's a door jam right here and you can't grab the hold of the, uh, you cannot hook the back of the vinyl with your blade like that, okay? And you need to just start out uh, over here cutting somewhere, such as you could just push through right there with your razor knife and go straight through like that, okay? Uh, what about that with your hook blade? Is that gonna do the same thing? Absolutely it is, okay? As I explained just a while ago, that point on the hook right there is actually sharp, okay? So you can take and just start anywhere right there and just do it, see that? Do it just like you would a traditional carpet knife or any other type of knife as far as that goes. Uh, look at here, push right in. Pull, push in, pull. It's, it's, it don't get any easier than that hook knife right there, okay? Uh, now, this vinyl floor, you can see right here, I've done absolutely, absolutely no prep to this floor. You can see my seams, my joints in this floor. You can see the screws are countersunk. They're not sticking up, they are countersunk, okay? Uh, that would be the only issue. Look right here. So, check this out. See that? You can actually feel that lip right there, okay? This vinyl is so phenomenal. You can lay this over that and not have an issue with that, okay? Let me lay this. Let, watch this. You might say, that's a little bit much. That's far-fetched. I don't know about that. Anything that you can feel needs to be dealt with, okay? I want you to look at that, okay? This would absolutely, absolutely fly, okay? This vinyl is so good about installing over a rough floor it is phenomenal, okay? Uh, we install this vinyl here nine times out of 10 whenever we install vinyl here in Tennessee, we install this particular product simply because uh, customers here do not want to pay for the extra prep. They don't wanna pay extra for putting down a quarter inch subfloor before we install vinyl. So this vinyl right here, again, this is Floor Black Tex vinyl, okay? This vinyl floor absolutely is phenomenal, okay? Thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope this will help some DIY person or landlord or something like that uh, make a decision on what type of vinyl they wanna use next in their rental property, okay? Once again, this stuff is extremely tough to anything, okay? It's tough to rip, it's tough to, if you was to uh, take a chair leg or something, out, watch this, I'll get me a little split start right there, look at that, okay? See that started right there? Most vinyl, most vinyl will just rip. Once you get something started, it just rips. That right there, look at that. That was actually pretty daggum hard. And as far as a chair leg or something in it like that, this stuff, this is by far, let's just say this, this is by far the best vinyl for rentals or if you wanna do a project yourself in your own home, okay? You can feel comfortable installing this vinyl using them techniques right there with uh, this knife and that blade right there, okay? They're super easy to use, all right? Thank you guys for tuning in. Until next time, FBSB's out.